Vivo's much-awaited smartphone, the Vivo V20 Pro 5G, has been launched in India. It features a 6.44-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display and a Snapdragon 765G chipset, paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. There's a 64MP triple rear camera setup, a 44MP dual selfie snapper, and a 4000mAh battery that supports 33W fast charging. The Vivo V20 Pro 5G is available for purchase via online and offline stores for 29,990 rupees. Twitter has put the manipulated media label and disclaimer on a tweet shared by BJP's IT cell head Amit Malviya. He reportedly tweeted a clipped video from the farmer's protest which showed the policeman's baton not touching the elderly farmer. This is apparently the first time the microblogging platform has flagged an Indian political account following the misinformation or disputed claims tag during the US elections. In February 2020, Twitter had announced its rules on synthetic and manipulated media. Qualcomm has launched its next-generation flagship processor, the Snapdragon 888 5G processor. The new mobile platform will power the next wave of premium smartphones to be launched in 2021. The Snapdragon 888 features a new Adreno GPU that supports 144 frames per second gaming, while the updated Spectra ISP can now take photos and videos at up to 2.7 gigapixels per second or 120 12 megapixel photos every second. Qualcomm says it has completely redesigned the Hexagon processor to deliver 26 terror operations per second. Unlike previous Snapdragon 865 processor, the 888 comes fully integrated with a 5G modem that supports sub-6 and millimeter wave connectivity. Xiaomi, Asus and Realme are among the 14 Android manufacturers confirmed to be developing devices using the Snapdragon 888 chip. Xiaomi has officially announced that it will launch its next-gen flagship, the Mi 11 smartphone series, with Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 888 processor. The announcement was made by the company's co-founder and CEO, Lee Jun, at the Qualcomm Snapdragon Tech Summit 2020. Other details weren't shared, but the Mi 10 successor is tipped to come with a 48-megapixel ultra-wide sensor. The Mi 11 is likely to come alongside the Mi 11 Pro that is rumored to have an intriguing QHD Plus display with 120Hz refresh rate. Both the smartphones are expected to debut in January 2021. Graphics chipmaker NVIDIA has announced the RTX 3060 Ti, the first and cheapest member of RTX 3060 series graphic cards. It costs 35,900 rupees and will be available for purchase from December 2nd. The entry-level GPU is based on NVIDIA's new Ampere architecture and is faster than previous generation RTX 2080 Super GPU, which had nearly twice the pricing. NVIDIA is targeting the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti towards 1080p and 1440p gaming and supports real-time ray tracing DLSS, as well as NVIDIA's RTX apps. The entry-level Nokia C3 has received a price cut of up to 1,000 rupees in India. The base variant now retails at 6,999 rupees, while the 3GB 32GB model will effectively cost 7,999 rupees. The smartphone was launched in August earlier this year and is available in Nordic Blue and Sand Color options. Global streaming platform Stars has officially launched the Lion Gate Play app in India about three and a half weeks after a soft beta launch. The direct-to-consumer OTT app aims to make premium Hollywood content available in multiple Indian languages and promises high-budget premium Indian originals starting in 2021. The app will be available to download across platforms and devices at a price of 99 rupees per month or 699 rupees annually. Oppo has teased the launch of its Reno 5 5G series on December 10th after a month filled with rumors and leaks. The company is expected to launch three handsets in the series, each of which will reportedly be powered by three separate processors, the Snapdragon 865 and 765G chips, as well as MediaTek's Dimensity 1000. According to Tipster Digital Chat Station, all three phones will come with punch hole displays, a higher refresh rate and 65 watts fast charging. Fortnite's latest season is almost here and it brings hunters from different realities to fight something called the Loop. 
The chapter 2 season 5 has been dubbed Zero Point and features new locations, weapons and hunters including the Mandalorian and Grogu aka Baby Yoda. The new locations include an ancient arena, a jungle area and a sci-fi desert caused by the exploding Zero Point. Epic has also teased even more hunters from the realities beyond, suggesting that additional licensed characters are on the way.